So with all my friends at favecrafts.com, I'm really excited to show you um, a new idea for a card using one of my favorite cartridges, Hoot and & Holler, and uh, maybe even using an image that I've used before. But uh, it's a new card, it's a new idea, and it's uh, something that I'm really excited to share with you. So right here on my Cricut mat, I already have four different colors of cardstock, and it's all cut out um, to the according size that I know it needs to be in um, at least three inches, but some, uh, like the little whites of the eyes, cut out much smaller because I know you don't need three inches of cardstock. But I'm just going to walk over to my Cricut and load in my cardstock. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my size is set to three and one quarter, and it already is three and one quarter inches. Uh, my speed is on high, and my pressure is also on high because I want to make sure and get good, nice, clean cuts. And sometimes speed helps with that. But the first layer you're going to cut out is the base layer to uh, the owl on the branch, and I love that owl on the branch. And you're just going to select it and press cut. Now scrolling down into the brown cardstock and just hitting the shift key and hitting the same button and hitting cut. And then I'm just going to scroll all the way down. And onto my blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the layer key function or feature and the same owl on the branch and hit pre press cut. And just scrolling down all the way onto my white, I'm going to hit the shift and leave the sh layer feature on. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the same key and cut. And now I have all the pieces I need, so I'm going to go ahead and unload my mat. And um, it's just that easy with the Cricut to cut out all the pieces that you're going to need to assemble the owl for the card. But uh, just to save some time, I've gone ahead and I've done that. So I'm going to start assembling the card. And what I have right here is one of my favorite cards. It's a pre-scored 6.5 by 5 inch uh, card that you can get um, from Michaels or wherever, uh, any craft store that you want. Uh, but I love them. And I'm going to take my ATG and right now I'm just going to attach a little piece of cardstock that is 6 by 4 inches. And this is going to be the base, uh, the backing to our card. And it's kind of what I'm going to use to go ahead and build the entire card off of. But two strips, maybe uh, four, just to really secure it down. And right on to the card. Centered nicely. And what we're going to do is glitter a piece, uh, just one piece, just to give a little bit of extra uh, sparkle to the card. So some spray adhesive makes this really easy. Just a little spritz like that, right onto the layer. You don't need your little box anymore, but you do need a piece of paper that is clean and free of any glue because now you just spread your glitter all over this and this is a nice green color just all over you can dump that off tap it on the back a couple times and lay it to dry and then you know always recapturing your glitter and that's why you have the piece of paper So anyways, now we're going to go ahead and begin to assemble the card. And I already have one that's been dried out here. And so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and see where I want to place this little owl. And I kind of like how just that silhouette looks. But uh, right here, making the edge flush with the edge of the cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and take some crafting glue just to go ahead and stick this down. and using the applicator tip to spread out the glue and then oop, now getting rid of any of that excess glitter that may have transferred onto the card because you really only want that on this green piece go ahead and move it right back into place and tack it down now one thing I found when 
gluing anything to a surface that's been glittered. Uh, you really want to make sure that you apply the glue to the surface that doesn't have any glitter on it because for some reason, uh, well for one, you get glitter all over the tip of the glue bottle and that's no good and glitter would be in the glue. But um, it, the pieces just don't seem to stick as well, for me at least, when I apply the glue to the glittered surface first. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I get glue on all these little pieces to hold them down. Place this right down on top. Maybe even set something on top of those little fine pieces just to hold them down until the glue really sets and holds everything in place. But while that's happening, I can go ahead and glue down the next layer to my little owl and make sure before I put too much glue on that it's going the right way. Because sometimes these, these pieces can't just be flipped over and glued. They wouldn't match up right. Make sure that you take out any little pieces of detail that the Cricut cuts out for you. Poking out the little holes to the eyes and everything. Putting a little bit of glue. Right like that. And then next are the little whites to the eyes. Matching it up perfectly. There we go. And then the next thing I have is a little piece of cardstock that is one and three quarter inches wide by four inches long. And that is so you can go ahead and take one of these edge punches, and this is just one of the punches to a punch around the page thing, and uh, put it right into the middle. And there's, sometimes there's a little indicator mark right in the middle of these punches, but you can go ahead and center it in there and punch down once. And if you've done it right, and oops, I must have gone off just a little tad, you should have a nice clean cut, but that's okay. And then do it the same thing on the other side. You can see this one came out perfect. But this is going to be our little sentiment. I'm gonna sneak that, oop, gonna sneak that right underneath our little leaf when it comes time to glue that all the way down. But what I've already gone and done, and I've taken a half inch adhesive uh, alphabet stamp set, and I've written out the words, guess who, and I've uh, spelled who, H-O-O, -O, for the owl's sake. And uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take some of this distress embossing ink that I love so much. I'm gonna heat emboss, because heat embossing is my favorite thing to do, as you may or may not know. But go ahead and take that and center it right over the top of your little punched piece. And give yourself a good guess who transfer. And I can see that it made a very nice transfer. So take your white piece of paper and take your embossing pigment. And this is gold. I've decided one. Sprinkle that all over. Give yourself a nice good amount. Shake any off and then go ahead and recapture all this because this heat embossing pigment is a very special thing. And then just go ahead and take your heating tool and heat emboss it. And so once all of those little pigment pieces of it have heated up and melted down and become shiny and gold. You can go ahead and sneak that right underneath that leaf. And I think I'm gonna do this with some ATG. Just make sure that I'm gonna, gonna smear around my heat embossing. One, two, there we go. Sneak this in right underneath here. There you go, and make sure you're shaking off any of that green glitter along the way because the more you get off now, the less there will be in the card when it gets to wherever it's going. But on the inside, I thought it would be a really nice, fun thing if you, uh, since it says guess who on the outside, if you went ahead and attached a little picture of yourself on the inside. And uh, this is just a little picture that you can print on the computer or anything like that. 
and put it cut it into a little heart with an exacto knife and then anyway so i hope you like this idea and uh, i'm glad all my friends at favecrafts.com asked me to make this video so anyways thanks and uh i hope you try this card